Good afternoon, my name is Matthew Howell. I am the Sales Director here at 360 Imaging. Today I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to plan an implant case and order a surgical guide using our 360 DPS software with a CareStream 9300 scan and a Zimmer implant. To begin, you can see we have our axial view here to the top right, and then below we have our 3D volume. The uh, software here actually starts us in the Prepare Patient tab, and under that tab you can see we have our Curve Drawing tool, and we also have our Nerve Mapping tool here below. So to begin, I'll go ahead and draw our curve, just select our Curve tool, and then I'm going to use my little ink cursor here to draw my curve through the mandibular bone. Double click to finish and you can see now we have our pan, our cross section and our transaxial view. So before we start to uh, plan out our implant what I do want to do is go ahead and map our nerve real quick here. I can kind of roll through my slices here. You can see your nerve canal. To start out, what I'll do is roll that up until I see my mental foramen there. I'm just going to click right in the center, and what it does is it aligns all of the views that you see here, most specifically my cross section. So that's where I'll start. You can see where our nerve starts there. I'm going to select my nerve drawing tool, one, two, and then what we'll do is we'll just jump back to the pan up here and, uh, and finish this out here. and we're finished. If you want to, you can jump over to your 3D volume real quick just to take a, a good look. We're ready to plan our implant. So what I'll do is begin here by clicking on our edentulous site, move down to my plan implant tab. We've actually got a couple of libraries you can choose from. We do have a generic library or as I said earlier, for this particular case, I'm going to use a Zimmer implant, so I'll go straight to all of my implant libraries. Go to vendor name, I'm going to drop down to Zimmer. Use the uh, tapered screw vent implant for this particular case. Select, and I'm going to start by dropping it into my cross section here. From here, it's very easy to uh, move the implant around. I can left click and move it bodily. I can grab here on its occlusal uh, anchor point as well. You can see how I can move that very easily on the anchor points. Roll through my slices. If you want to, you can go ahead and throw an abutment on. You can make changes to the abutment as well. Once you're finished there, we'll move over to our transaxial view. What this will allow us to do is actually roll around the implant as opposed to through it the way the cross section does. So we can really get our angle down. We can check our mesiodistal spacing. Now that we're finished there, we can now go up here to the top right to our axial view. Get right over the, uh, the center of the implant and kind of roll through our slices here. And then of course we can always reference our planning in 3D. Use this to show to the patient. actually clip this back if I want to once you're finished it's very simple you just come up here to the save button move over to directory you're gonna click on the order guide tab and what this will do is actually portal the entire treatment plan over to our lab where we will then be able to print out your guide. Thank you.